Well, Brenda Bethune will serve a second term as mayor of Myrtle Beach after unofficially winning re-election with 55% of the vote. News 13's Manny Martinez is live in Myrtle Beach as the mayor shares her thoughts on her win on the race and also what she has planned for the next four years. Manny. Bob and Megan, Brenda Bethune says today feels like the first day of her second term in office, despite the fact that's not officially until January. She adds that she's surprised, not by the fact that she was reelected, but that it was an outright win last night. So today, she's feeling relieved. She's not facing a runoff election. Incredible, unexpected, but very exciting. Brenda Bethune on her outright win of a second term as Myrtle Beach mayor, beating four challengers, Gene Ho, Bill McClure, Tammy B. Durant, and C.D. Rosa. I looked at this as not a fight against anyone. This was just, my race was about me, trying to educate people about what I have done and what I'm going to continue to do. Bethune says she and city council are eager to keep working on the projects they've already started. She says initiatives may target a specific area in Myrtle Beach, but benefit the entire city. Including downtown revitalization, but focusing on also the revitalization of our boardwalk area and the oceanfront district. But her top priority? We have to get more police officers. We know that. Bethune says the issue is nationwide, and Myrtle Beach can't afford to lose any more officers. We have to make sure that our police department has all of the tools needed to attract the right people, um, but to keep them here. Bethune says she and council are discussing more possible solutions to address the shortage of officers before next summer. That's on top of the $4,000 bonuses already being offered to new city employees. Election results will be certified here at City Hall tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. I'm live in Myrtle Beach, Manny Martinez, News 13.